Hello, and welcome back to an Empower Service tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up a whitelist on Java server and a Bedrock server. First, we'll start with a Java server. We need to go to empowerservice.com and then press new control panel in the top right and then manage on your Java server. Once you've clicked manage, you need to start your server now. It doesn't matter what edition of Minecraft you have, vanilla, spigot, paper spigot, all these versions have a whitelist. So I'm going to turn my server on. You might have to accept a EULA. I've already turned my server on earlier, so I don't have to. And this is paper spigot. So it's quite simple. First, we need to turn the whitelist on. So we're going to preface our command with whitelist and then on. Next, we're going to add a player. So it's going to be whitelist add, let's say Harvey. Let's say we want it to remove a player. Whitelist remove Harvey and he'll be removed from the whitelist. Now, if you want the whitelist completely turned off, whitelist off. And it's really that simple. If you want to know who's currently on the whitelist, you run the command whitelist list. And there are no whitelisted players, so nothing will pop up there. Something else you might want to know about whitelists is that if you have a player opt, so if I opt Harvey, they will automatically be added to the whitelist, even if it's on. Now I'm going to show you the whitelist in action. So I'm going to open a version of Minecraft Java and I'm going to show you what it's like when you're not whitelisted on the server. So now I'm going to attempt to join the server with the whitelist on. So we're just going to turn it on. So once it's turned on, then I'm going to try to join. I'm not on the whitelist and this is what you'll get. Now I'm going to add myself to the whitelist. So I've typed out the correct command. We're going to press enter. It'll say added my name to the whitelist. Make sure you include all the capital letters in your username as the whitelist is case sensitive. Now I'm going to join the server and as you can see, everything works fine. Now for how to do it on a bedrock server. So we're going to go to empowerservice.com, new control panel, and we're going to open our bedrock server. Once you're managing your bedrock server, you want to turn it on. Now, turning on the whitelist is slightly different on bedrock. Some of the commands are the same, but actually turning on the whitelist is different. So, for example, the whitelist add and remove command are exactly the same, as you can see here. However, if you want to turn your whitelist on, you have to go into your server.properties file. So, I'm going to head to management, file management, and then I'm going to find my server.properties file. Here it is. And then we need to find the whitelist option. As you can see, it's here. Whitelist is set to false. Now we need to set it to true. Then we're going to press save and we need to restart our server for this to take effect. Okay, and now I'm going to try to join the server with the whitelist on and I haven't added myself to it. We're going to press join and it'll say you're not invited to play on this server. Now I'm going to add myself to the whitelist. I apologize in advance for my cringy username. It's my Xbox Live username. So now this is a command I'm going to run. I'm going to press enter and I should be added to the whitelist. And now I'm going to join the server and as you can see, we are connecting just fine. And we're in, just like that. Thank you very much for watching. If you require any more support, the fastest way to reach us will be via live chat, located in the bottom right corner of your screen at all times. Thank you for choosing Empower Servers.